Hi folks, this is all the fruit and small scale banana cultivation has been a thing on the Spanish Mediterranean coast at least since the Arabs brought the banana here in the Middle Ages. Well, but this here folks, this is no small scale banana cultivation. It might be a little bit hard to see it against the setting sun but those bananas, they stretch all the way to this valley, about 200 meters. It's a mix of Topocho and Cavendish bananas, here beneath the little town. The Topocho being quite traditional for this area, being cultivated probably since for centuries, while the Cavendish is a more recent introduction. Here, in the front you can see one, two, three, four, five taller topochos among the hundreds of Cavendish and behind them there is a whole group a couple thickets of topocho bananas I guess since they have both varieties here in large numbers they might also have a couple of the other varieties cultivated in southern Spain like the Manzano but folks I never expected to find something like this on the European mainland here Okay, we are at the Mediterranean coast, but we are not on an island. We are not, we are not in the Caribbean, we are not on the Canary Islands, we are not in Madeira. We are literally on the European mainland. And there is a commercial outdoor banana operation going on here. I am trying to get this plantation from several angles. Best would be, of course, to be able to walk in there, but I don't see the owner and I don't want to be detained as a banana thief. Large-scale avocado plantations here in the foreground, chirimoya plantations in the background, I think in front of the greenhouses is a mango plantation, those are the three big cash crops of the area. Sugarcane used to be quite important here right behind the first greenhouse. There is a big sugarcane mill over there. You can see the chimney, but it's abandoned. So avocados, mangoes and chirimoyas nowadays are the only viable cash crops in this area where the climate is subtropical and the water is scarce. Sometimes people have a banana or two, a papaya or two, an orange tree or two, but basically the only things that's gonna make you money are mangoes, avocados and chirimoyas. But apparently somebody wants to change that. Look at that. I'm now at the other side of this banana plantation. Well, they are quite battered by the winter winds. I think it's the winds. Could also be some drought damage. I don't think it's big frost damage. Mostly wind. But still, even in winter, they keep producing. This is amazing because on the Canary Islands, when the temperatures fall beneath 20 degrees, the production slows down a lot. And here, in Europe, where you have to be lucky to have no frost in winter, the production goes on. Sugarcane, which used to be the big cash crop before the tropical fruits, most people don't even harvest it anymore. They use it as windbreak. He, in this case for the banana plantation. The sugar cane is tall enough and it doesn't spread as much as the giant reed. Down here, the last plant in the row is a giant reed, the tallest one, which is a bit more invasive than the sugar cane. So, basically, sugar cane used to be the king here. Now, tropical fruits, avocados, mangoes and chirimoyas are the three are the holy trinity of the area but it seems that the bananas are clawing out a place for themselves here once again lots of cavendish in the foreground and a couple tall topochos among them really not looking too good i wonder how those things make money for their owners they can definitely not outproduce the big South American plantations, and I'm sure they don't get the subsidies the Canary Island bananas are getting. Must be a good price they are fetching here, because here, folks, water is money. 
and land is also quite expensive. Wanted to see if there are any more commercial banana plantations on the other slope in the village. And yeah, I found some interesting things. Here, a small commercial papaya plantation with at least a hundred papaya plants. That's the second one I'm seeing on the European continent. Here, a small commercial banana plantation right behind those greenhouses. And there are a lot of banana plants between those giant trees. I think this could also be regarded as a commercial plantation because there seem to be at least 20, 25 of them there. But nothing as big as on the other slope. So now returning to the big banana plantation. Back at the big banana plantation, but no great insights from this side. Oh, this is better. I was standing up there in front of the houses. Now I'm down here and look at that. It looks like in the Canaries, like in the Caribbean, like in Malaysia. Thousands and thousands of bananas of different types growing here. Yeah, up there, 95, 99% are Cavendish. Here, 90% are Topochos with the group of Cavendish in front. And I don't know what happened here. Are they planting young banana plants among the aloes? Or have they abandoned the banana production and plant aloes? Well, definitely bananas and aloes growing together. Something is going on here. <laughs> but look at that, folks. I hope, but I never expected to find something like this in Europe. Well, the Cavendish might have stopped producing for some time because they only see young bunches. There are a couple full-size Topocho bunches here. Look, for example, at those huge things here. About as long as supermarkets, Chiquita bananas, but much thicker. Yeah. The Cavendish, I've seen very few full-sized bunches, usually it seems they are developing recently. There must have been a stop in the developing of the Cavendish bananas. Although back there I see something strange. Look at this bunch here. The upper part, the ones on the upper left side, it seems they are getting ripe because they have fissures. They are bursting. Very interesting. I really need to find out who is taking care of this plantation. Look here, in this part, the banana plants, they look very bad. I wonder why. Is it lack of water? Is it a particularly windy place? It's very strange. Those look bad. The ones on the lower terrace, they look good. Hi, doggy. Not planning to steal your bananas for now. So here again, the ones looking bad. And on the right of them, again, they are looking good. Why this difference in vitality of the banana plants? Those doggies are huge, but the banana plants are not small either. I think some in the background with leaves, they must be over seven meters tall. So folks, I managed to arrange a visit for tomorrow. And also the people told me those thousands and thousands of banana plants. It's not commercial at all. They just eat them and they just give them to their friends. How can they have so much land and so much water here for thousands of banana plants? They also told me yes, Fuego and a couple other varieties here. I really hope those folks will be here tomorrow. And there's not going to be too much rain tomorrow because I'm like a monkey in a banana plantation when I see this. I really want to be here. So folks, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos. Hopefully even for a banana video inside this plantation. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.